means is, you know, a lot of us have things in our families that don't go right all the time, and it passes down, and then somebody has to break it. And that's what this is. This is a room full of people who decided to, to change the trend and make some amazing generational blessings for other people. Because here's my testimony. This is a true story. My grandfather was a pastor who left my father when he was five years old. And my pastor was a father who left me when I was three years old. So I decided that the generational curse was going to stop with me. That's right.
get out of there. Because when you self-checkout, you don't get embarrassed as much because you know you're by yourself. If you ain't got the money, if you slide in the boo, you ain't got the money, you just look around and just keep on going. Went over there to the hospital with one of my friends. 
See, I grew up in a bad neighborhood too, I'm sorry, I mean, I, I left that out. I grew up in Southeast D.C., right off the 37th place. You know what I'm talking about, right? You go outside right now, I got a rat waiting for me. I sit sideways, right? Now nah, look, I, I was over there, my friend had got shot in his hand, you know. We wouldn't say hand in the neighborhood, we just say shot, make it sound like it was rough. He got shot in his hand, we spent all day in the hospital. This way I got, this way you mess up at. I left the hospital, it was nighttime. And you know you're supposed to be home from school, right? I'm walking back home, right? As soon as I'm getting closer to home, I got home. I'm saying I left the hospital. I got home. It was about, I say about nine. Wow. That's not bad. That's not really bad if you think about it, because nowadays kids stay in, this, in school until that time. But <laughs> I wasn't playing no after school activities or that. I got home at nine, but I got in the house at 4 a.m. Y'all understand? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I went in the house at 4 a.m. It took me from 9 to 4 a.m. to decide to go in the door. I was outside like this, like, man, damn, I know I should I went all the way to the door. I went to the door about 40 times. I was like, nah, she probably right there. I said, just okay, this is what I did. Man, you know my friend got shot, right? Okay, now that ain't gonna work. I kept looking at my watch, I'd be like, oh, I can do five more minutes, I'll like, five more minutes. Before long, it was 4 a.m. Start looking like kind of clear in the sky, because you know that light part starting to come up? Because people get ready to go to work. And I knew she was getting ready to get up. So I was like, maybe she's really asleep. 4 a.m., you should be hardcore asleep, right? You ain't no construction worker or no truck driver. You should be asleep. I snuck in there. I closed the door. Once I got in, I stood in the front. I was like, I was like, I was in the army trying to get in the house. No lie. I was in the front door. I was like that. I slid one step over. I look. And this is my next move. Y'all ain't never did this. I did this one. I say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 